Okay, and as you can see, it's now uh, rebooting. And when it comes back to the console prompt, uh, we'll uh, go through and configure the IP and uh, DHCP settings. And then we can uh, log into the web GUI and uh, start configuring it from that. So here we go. Uh, it's already said that the uh, the LAN IP address is 192.168.1.1. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set it up for my own uh, things that I want. So I'm going to press 2. And I'm going to enter a new LAN IP address. Um, so I'm going to just uh, change it to uh, 192.168.1 one fat uh, 100.100 .100. okay and I want the subnet to be 24 bits and yes I want to enable the DHCP server now I've got the option to type in a range of addresses so I'm going to have uh, 192.168.100.101 and, uh, and the end range I'll have uh, 192.168.100.200 and, uh, and now it goes through reloads the or recompiles or reconfigs the network card and there we go so I can now access the web GUI if I was to type in that IP address in my uh, browser so I'm just going to press enter there and it's a good uh, good practice just to reboot uh, the system to make sure that everything has actually uh, worked so I'm just going to do that now and we'll uh, come back when this is um, rebooted and we're back at this screen Okay, so as you can see, we're now uh, back at the uh, console uh, setup. Um, so what we should be able to do now is go in our browser and type in this IP address. Um, but what you might need to do, uh, especially on my computer or in many instances, is because we've only just set this up and the DHCP server has only just been active uh, or activated, uh, we might have to change our IP settings on our um, computer. Uh, as you can see mine's been uh, has not changed uh, as of yet so I'm going to uh, release the IP address so to do that you open a command prompt window type in IP config stroke release and this will then go through and release the IP and these values there we go they should change to zero and then I'm going to type in IP config stroke renew to get another IP from uh, this box. And there we go. So you can see that uh, the IP address that it's given me is. 100.200 we can see our default gateway as 100.100 so what I'm going to do now is open up a web page and go to the web address that uh, we've just configured it to which is 192.168.100.100 so here we go let's type in http 192.168.100.100 and there we go so the default password for monowall um, is admin and mono oops sorry admin and mono and there we go and so uh, we can now access the web GUI and do any configuration changes that uh, we want to do here I'm not going to go into too much detail as to uh, configuring uh, or setting this up on this uh, little demo um, but the first things that uh, I normally do I would uh, change my host name of it of the box uh, to uh, internet gateway for example and I change this if you already have a, a domain in place 
um, uh, through a Active Directory or anything like that. You can type this in here, or you can just uh, you know make one up. So I'll just have uh, Phil's Domain dot com. And the other thing you want to do is change the password, and you can also set it to be uh, HTTPS if you if you so wish. Um, another change that I normally do with a monowall box that I set up is um, I, I try and get the DNS settings or DNS IP addresses from uh, my ISP and type them in here um, myself uh, so I uncheck that one and I always have the monowall box as the first one and then uh, the ISP's uh, DNS servers as the next two um, simply because I like to have uh, on my particular network I have uh, some DNS forwards and uh, I like uh, Monowar to deal with uh, most of that instead of going out onto the internet finding the address and then bringing it back and saying that it doesn't exist or anything like that um, so yeah uh, that's the basic uh, configuration from uh, uh, setting up from the console once you've flashed the compact flashcard uh, putting it into the computer and configuring it through uh, the uh, console and uh, accessing the uh, web GUI. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video uh, demonstration.